Hello, anteaters. This presentation will provide an overview of how to prepare to register a new organization or re-register an existing campus organization at UCI. Points that will be discussed are as follows. Campus organization registration requirements, items to have prepared prior to initiating the registration process, definition and responsibilities of a signer slash officer, campus organization online learning cool module overview, and department affiliation opportunities for RCO. An organization that has existed in the previous academic year would be re-registering the campus organization for this current academic year. Every year, organizations must re-register in order to be considered active on campus. An organization that has not existed at UCI would be filling out a new registration. Additionally, if an organization previously existed on campus but was not active in the prior academic year, then the organization would need to complete a new registration. Before registering your campus organization, it is important to first understand what the requirements are. There are differences in requirements for re-registering organizations and new organizations. All campus organizations, both re-registering organizations and new organizations must meet the following requirements. The organization must be student-led. This means that the organization is being directed and led by students of their own volition and willingness to operate an organization on campus. The students in the organization should be making all decisions on behalf of the organization. Each person listed as a signer must be a currently enrolled UCI student. If your organization is being directed and led by a campus department or an off-campus entity or business, then the organization may not be considered a campus organization. If you have any questions about whether your organization would be considered a campus organization at UCI, please reach out to our office for advising. According to Registered Campus Organization Policy 70.10, the organization that you are starting should be non-discriminatory. This means the organization cannot discriminate on the basis of gender, race, sexual orientation, gender, religious beliefs, etc. Exceptions to this policy are given to Greek organizations. Every organization must have a minimum of three signers and a maximum limit of five. Each signer must be a currently enrolled UCI student. Your organization must have a constitution on record. A sample of a constitution can be found on the campus organization's website under the resources tab. Each year, the organization must pay a one-time registration fee of $50. In addition to the aforementioned requirements, new organizations must complete three additional requirements, which include finding an on-campus advisor. This can be a staff member, a faculty, or a graduate student. Attend a new organization orientation. This orientation provides information on offering a successful organization, as well as allowing us to learn more about your organization. Attend an advising meeting. In the new org advising meeting, you will discuss the details, the operations of your organization, and the goals you hope to accomplish. In this meeting, the professional staff will review your constitution and provide additional resources for your organization. Once all the requirements have been met, the organization will be approved as an official registered campus organization organization, also known as an RCO. Before beginning the registration process, you may want to prepare a few things. First, identify the three to five signers or officers that will be responsible for the organization. The president and treasurer must be listed. Then designate one of the signers to initiate the registration process. The leaders of the organization should develop the organization's description, the mission, and the goals. After establishing the description, mission, and goals, the organization's leadership can then develop the constitution that outlines the club operations, the officer positions, descriptions, and duties, the process for handling funds, the process for moving officers or general members from the institution, and more. A sample constitution can be found on the Campus Org's website under the Resources tab. 
If your organization has an advisor, you should gather their contact information because it will be needed to need to be listed during the registration process. Signers or officers are organization leaders that are responsible for all actions of the organization. We require a minimum of three officers for each organization with the option to list up to five. The president or a person who holds an equivalent position of the organization and the treasurer must be listed as an officer of the organization. Note, you may see the term signer and officer used. These terms are used interchangeably. Once an officer completes all the requirements of registration, the officer becomes an authorized officer. Authorized signers and authorized officers must be currently enrolled UCI students. These officers are jointly and or individually liable for all debts and obligations incurred by the organization to the university. It is the responsibility of each officer to read the UC and UCI agreements and policies and agree to comply. Authorized officers have the ability to book space with student center and event services, apply for temporary food permits, access the organization's ASUCI club account, and more. Every officer is responsible for electronically signing the seven officer slash signer agreement forms in order to become an authorized officer. The forms are as follows. The anti-hazing compliance form, the financial responsibility statement, principles of community, principles against intolerance, non-discrimination statement, student conduct policy, and the Clery Act acknowledgement. As an officer, it is important that you are reading thoroughly through each of these forms. Campus Organization Online Learning Cool Modules are short videos that provide information on important policies, procedures, and resources from various departments that campus organizations utilize throughout the year. Campus organizations and volunteer programs cool modules provide additional information on RCO benefits, risk, li risk and liability, university policies, and campus resources for RCOs. The Student Center and Event Services Cool provides organization leaders with information about booking meetings and events through Student Center and Event Services, as well as tools to plan safe and successful events. The Environmental Health and Safety Food Safety Cool provides information about how to properly handle perishable food items on campus, such as how to properly cook meat and how to keep food at the correct temperature. The ASUCI Cool provides organization leaders with information about utilizing an ASUCI club financial account to pay for on-campus services, such as student center reservations. The Sorority and Fraternity Life Cool provides sorority and fraternity signers with further information on how to mitigate risk within their organization. This call is only required for signers of fraternities and sororities. Registered campus organizations can request to affiliate with various departments across campus to gain special benefits and support while, commit, while committing to being involved in the department's activities throughout the year. Registered campus organizations will gain a better understanding on how to build mutually beneficial relationships with these campus departments. Each affiliation has its own set of benefits and requirements. The Alumni Association affiliation is for orgs interested in leveraging their alumni network to support professional development of their members. Club sports affiliation is for groups that are interested in having a team on, a team on campus. This affiliation requires approval from the club sports department and the Anteater Recreation Center. The Cross-Cultural Center affiliation offers opportunities for funding, advising, and leadership development for organizations that align with the Cross-Cultural Center values. The Division of Career Pathways affiliation offers opportunities for career advising, connections with employers, and funding for organizations that primarily focus on helping to professionally develop their members. The Latinx Resource Center provides support to campus organizations that align with the values of the center. The LGBT Resource Center supports organizations that align with the values of the center. Student, Organiza Student Outreach and Retention Center 
provides funding for organizations that outreach to, to K through 12 schools and to organizations that support retention efforts on campus. Every organization can apply to affiliate with any of these departments and choose to affiliate with multiple departments. Be sure to visit each of the department's websites to get further information on the requirements and deadlines for applying. You can also visit the department affiliation site on campusorgs.uci.edu under the resources tab. Now that you have the foundation and knowledge on what to prepare to complete your campus organization registration, let's learn more about where to start the process online. To initiate a new registration, designate one signer to start the process by logging into campusgroups.uci.edu. Next, select the people icon at the top of the screen and then select all groups. At the top of the next page, you will see a blue box with an option to register a new campus organization. From there, you'll be asked to complete the registration form. To initiate a re-registration, designate one signer to start the process by logging into campusgroups.uci.edu. Next, select the people icon at the top left corner of the screen and select all groups. Search your organization name, and once you find it, you will see a group re-registration option on the right side. From there, you will be asked to complete the registration form. If you have any questions or run into any problems while registering, please reach out to our office. If you have any additional questions and would like to meet with a staff member, please follow the link on the page to our advising, our advising page where you can sign up for a general advising meeting. We are happy to help you along the way and we look forward to working with you during this academic year.